This is Bob. He's named Bob because of his tiny little nub tail. While walking to work on Friday, July 14th, 2017, I found Bob in a gutter, having apparently been hit by a car the previous evening and laid there all night long. He had feeling in his back legs, but he could not move them. The vet told us that he couldn't maintain his own body temperature and would need to be snuggled in order to be kept warm. It was possible that we may have to have him euthanized at the end of the week, but we weren't ready to give up on him yet. After about two days of good food and warmth, Bob started to recover. He started acting like a normal kitten. We had to keep him in diapers for the first several months that we had him because he couldn't use his back legs well enough to get into a cat box. But he did start to show improvement. After a few weeks, Bob started to wiggle his back legs when he dragged himself across the floor, as though he were trying to use them to walk. So Bob got bigger, and he wore his diapers less and less, and he started learning how to walk on his own. I believe in you. Feet are too close together. <laughs> He's standing! Stand back up. He became best friends with our cat Moses, and she gets him to exercise all the time and use his legs while they're playing. At five months old, Bob is well on his way to becoming a full-grown kitty, and we're all so proud of him and the ability to walk around and stand up. He still has trouble from time to time, but he figures it out, and he's getting better every day. Bubba, are you playing? Look at him, he's standing up! Just like a normal cat! Feet. They don't work like normal feet. Still, I don't know. Maybe we're gonna have to take him and put him down. We keep telling him, just to keep him trying. We're gonna take you we're gonna take you to the vet and put you down on Friday. That's what we're gonna do. You hear me? Bob. Yep, he hears me. <laughs> 